made go-kart so it uses a Nissan Leaf motor there and here's a A123 battery pack it's 58.8 amp hours 92.4 volts came from a spark EV Homemade motor controller for it. There's the. So there's a couple boards in there. Here's one of the boards. It's a. It's a resolver to encoder board, so it comes over here to the resolver. Here's just a little 12 volt auxiliary battery for powering the control board there. And then the wheels, it's basically just a, I guess a dead axle. So it's just, just one wheel drive with a, a number 41 chain, motorcycle chain. And here's a couple of, just a couple basic little pieces of angle uh, aluminum, just kind of holding it in place, and then a thicker one on the back, a little tougher on the back, kind of holding it down. We're not really driving things too hard, so this seems to work out okay. Just a minute, John. Here's the on-off switch right here. Don't turn that on, John. <laughs> and then there's the steering. Want to demonstrate steering, John? Can you turn it back and forth? Can you turn the steering like this? Can you turn it? Here, let me help you. See, so you just kind of. Just, yeah, just like that. It's kind of basic, simple steering. And here's the Hall Effect throttle here. Now I have it programmed so that um, so there's no mechanical brakes. It shuts uh, when it's not yet. No, John. When it's zero, not yet. Not yet. When it's zero throttle, it regens quite a bit, so it comes to a, a stop pretty fast. So that no mechanical brakes. So let's give it a try.
driving and I'll take my foot off the gas and then watch it how, how it slows down from the regen. I could set the regen a lot higher and it would come to a screeching halt. Right now I have the phase current set to a maximum of 50 amps and the regen set to a maximum of 20 amps per phase.